The state of Florida's plan to establish a four-year medical school at Florida State University has reached fruition. The class of 2008, the fourth class of medical students to be inducted at FSU, receiving lab coats in a medical school tradition known as the white coat ceremony. Now, for the first time in its history, the FSU College of Medicine is operating all four years of its curriculum simultaneously. The College of Medicine has gone from a, a really a very embryonic stage only three years ago to now we have four classes and uh, we're looking forward to our future. And the FSU College of Medicine will hold its very first graduation ceremony in May of 2005. Meantime, Florida State is already identifying potential candidates for med school at FSU and elsewhere in an innovative outreach program that predates the College of Medicine by six years. Hi, I'm Dr. Campbell. Hi, Mr. Mullis? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice Welcome. To you Good to see you. Becoming a doctor, helping people in need is a common a childhood ambition we've problems. probably all shared at one time or another. Well. But for many Reef children, disease, it's a dream that's a out of reach. The, well, becoming a doctor or a nurse is, is not the easiest thing to do. Uh, it takes a lot of well, hard work and time. There are a couple of interesting things about this problem. First, Never mind the financial hurdles one must negotiate to become a doctor. More often, it's the academic barriers that prevent African Americans, Hispanics, Native Americans and even women from pursuing their medical and scientific dreams. Taking the square root gives you those units. Notice only one. Indeed, although minority the, students have made significant uh, gains in mastering basic mathematics, science and language skills, many still lack the requisite critical thinking skills needed to pursue professional degrees, especially in the scientific and medical fields. Those are the kind of numbers that you're looking at. It's this reality that came to light in the admissions office of the PIMS program, now the College of Medicine at Florida State University. We're in a unique position within the College of Medicine, and I think in the entire state of Florida, we're the only medical school that has a mission and that has an outreach program such as this that starts early on from seventh grade and work, in, work through post-baccalaureate levels. So like a major league baseball team that develops its own talent, in 1994, Florida State University established a farm system, a farm system for the future. Science students together reaching instructional diversity and excellence. We call it STRIDE. STRIDE, which stands for Science Students Together, Reaching Instructional Diversity and Excellent, evolved out of the program of medical sciences, which is now the College of Medicine, need to address the fact that too many minority students from culturally diverse backgrounds are not pursuing careers in health, science, and the medical fields. A key element of Project STRIDE is early intervention. Make sure that you are spelling your muscle names phonetically the way they sound. Students are identified as early as seventh grade, enrolling in special classes which feature enhanced curriculum. It's okay, we're gonna open that up, remember? It's not your typical grade school education. Today what we're gonna focus on is you're actually gonna be doing the dissection where you're going to remove the skin from the superficial fascia. These eighth graders are studying anatomy and physiology through active hands-on learning. It's high-level work rarely offered in many high schools, let alone middle schools. You can actually use the scissors and guide, let this be your guide to cut. We have just finished the cardiovascular system and we're also doing the respiratory system. So what we wanted to do is we wanted them to be able to see the various organ structures rather than just see a diagram that's in color in a textbook. Class sizes are small to better enable one-on-one -on -one interaction between instructors and students. Stride classes are limited to 14 students or less. That means that they're learning more, uh, they're getting a deeper understanding of uh, what's happening, and like you say, they aren't fooling around. They're really serious about what's going on, and they're inquisitive. And uh, the more that they ask about what's happening, the more that they learn. Another Stride virtue is role modeling. For this is a program of students teaching students. Good job. All that stuff you know you don't need, that's how you're able to tear it off easily. Pre-medical students at Florida State 
Florida A&M, and North Florida Community College, as well as first-year medical students from the FSU College of Medicine, serve as mentors, teaching assistants, and tutors, providing daily individualized assistance in the classroom and after school as well. The students who are up and coming in the program in middle school and high school are fantastic. They show a level of maturity, poise, confidence, and leadership that brings me a lot of joy. Project Stride has no designated ending. Once a student is accepted into the program, he or she is tracked and accounted for all the way through high school graduation. Then, as college students, they return to the Stride program as mentors, completing this new and exciting circle of life. If you live in the Tallahassee area and would like more information about the Stride program, contact the FSU College of Medicine.